All right, good afternoon. Uh, we're here to talk about an incident that occurred this morning shortly before 9 a.m. Uh, deputies responded to Ashley Drive in Violet, a call of a armed robbery. Uh, deputies arrived pretty quick and they met with a female victim. Uh, she's 25 years old who stated that she was here down in St. Benoit Parish in the Violet area uh, in an attempt to sell some electronics to a male that contacted her on social media on Ashley Drive. Uh, when she exited a vehicle, she was approached by a male who asked to enter a side gate of a residence. They did so. As soon as she got through the side gate, a, the perpetrator uh, brandished a weapon, and at that point, he made her go towards the back of the house and sexually assaulted the uh, victim. Uh, after he completed the sexual assault, the perpetrator fled the scene in the victim's car. Uh, when deputies arrived, they discovered uh, the victim who described the vehicle that was taking, uh, put an immediate broadcast out. Uh, deputies shortly identified the vehicle going down St. Bernard Highway towards Araby. At that point, we attempted to stop the vehicle and the vehicle fled into New Orleans. Uh, several attempts to disable the vehicle with stop sticks failed. The pursuit continued from St. Claude on the Tennessee Street and then entered the Claiborne Bridge in a westbound direction. While at, on top of the bridge, the vehicle uh, was involved in an accident uh, involving two other vehicles. At that point, the vehicle became disabled. Uh, our deputies made a tactical response and entry to the vehicle where we discovered the perpetrator of the uh, crime uh, in the vehicle with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Uh, deputies removed the perpetrator from the vehicle, uh, attempted to uh, provide some, some uh, aid to him, and called for EMS immediately. Uh, shortly afterwards, EMS arrived and he was pronounced dead on the scene. The uh, perpetrator uh, has been identified uh, as a DeAndre Brock. Uh, I think he's 27 years old. Uh, he has some ties to St. Bernard, but I think he was currently living outside of St. Bernard, I think in Ascension Parish. Did, did anybody else get hurt during the accident? Uh, I don't believe anybody was seriously injured during the chase. Uh, one of the vehicles that was involved was a uh, an 18-wheeler, I believe, and, and maybe a, a DOTD vehicle that was up on a bridge can you as well. Can you describe the stolen vehicle? The vehicle was a white Mitsubishi SUV, uh, I think a 2023 20, model maybe. And so he did not know the woman, just reached out to her through social media? And, and just, you know, remember this, this, this is in very preliminary stages of this investigation. There's a lot of information that needs to be verified at this point in time, but uh, the information that we currently have that we don't believe the victim, according to her, knew this suspect.